Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to renew the brake fluid on the Vauxhall Corsa. You can see at the back there it's a Vauxhall Corsa D and uh, we're going to use a pressure brake bleeding kit. So I'll get the kit, get set up and I'll show you how to do it. I thought I'd very quickly show you the pressure bleed kit that I've got. Uh, you can pick these up fairly cheap to be honest. I'll put a link to this one from Amazon that I got. Uh, you can get CD, you can get all sorts of brands, but this one should do the job. All it is, pressure kit, so you, f you add your fluid inside, then you've got an end cap that goes onto your brake reservoir. And uh, this bottle here is for collecting it, so you can see there's a fitting that goes on the brake bleed nipple. And uh, that's pretty much all we do. We just pump this up uh, between one and two bar. Some people say one bar, some people say two bar. I tend to go somewhere in between and just keep checking it so we don't overpressurize the system. And uh, make sure you've got enough brake fluid to uh, fill the reservoir up. Make sure it doesn't get too low whilst you do it. You have to make sure you stay topped up. So let's go and get this prepared on the car and then we'll go through the process. Here's the kit already. Here's the cap ready to go on. There's our brake fluid reservoir. I've got a catch can because first of all what I'm going to do is use this little hand pump to pump out the fluid out of here and top it up with fresh. And then we add the rest of the fresh into the pump and that should get it all nice and flowing. Now you can see I've now jacked the rear of the car up all nice and safe and there's a jack stand underneath there to keep it secure. So. I'm going to continue to get the rear wheel off and then we can set up our pressure kit. So that's some of the old fluid sucked out using the pump. So now I'm going to top it up with our fresh fluid so that we've got the bottle full. nice and full and the rest goes in the pressure bleed kit. Now before you do this, what I would do is gently pump the pressure kit so you start to get fluid through the pipe. You'll see it's starting to come through the pipe and then come out the cap. So that means that there's no air in our pressure kit. So we can now carefully attach it so that there's already fluid in the line. And that just makes sure that we're not introducing or we're introducing as little air as possible into the system before we start bleeding. Just makes the job a bit easier. And there we go, that's now attached and we're ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump the pressure system up to just over one bar and check for leaks. Now obviously if you've got a leak in the brake system, this will also help you find it. There we go. We'll go at one bar for now and let's go and check. No leaks showing. Nothing 
dripping out around here so I'm quite pleased with that so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to head to the rear wheel release the bleed nipple and uh, let some of the fluid come through so we're at the rear wheel now this is probably going to be difficult to show you but on this the courser bleed nipple there it is you can just see that's the rubber cap there and underneath is the bleed itself so I'm going to take that cap off crack it loose and then get my paper and bottle ready to catch the fluid so what we'll do that over now we've got to try and get the seven mil in to then start releasing the fluid which is rather tricky this one's particularly small being seven mil on a courser they don't make the job very easy for us So what I did is I kept going back and checking, making sure that pressure was up at the front and kept bleeding. Uh, now it's between 250 and 500 mil, but basically what I did was I looked for the colour to change. You can see what I've collected is quite dark, but the liquid that was starting to come through the pipe was light coloured, which is the new fluid. So I think that's the rear one done. So we're both rears done and we can, we can head round to the front. I thought I'd show you the front because the front is much easier to see. So I've taken the rubber cap off. Now these are all sevens and I find, or at least the rears were sevens, looks like the fronts might be eight. So let's try an eight. Yep, that's an eight. So we'll just gently crack the pressure off and then uh, we'll get our bottle and we'll start bleeding it. Much easier with the ring spanner. The only problem is when you use a ring spanner is trying to keep the fitting on the end doesn't quite work so what I do is crack it loose like that, put the fitting over and then I can get my open-ended spanner and then do it and I keep the pressure on with my finger like so. Now I don't know if you can see the colour of the brake fluid that's just come out but that's exactly why we're doing this. That's a dark coloured fluid that first came out so let's run that and uh, get it clear. shouldn't need to do it quite as much for the rear because obviously it's a lot closer. Now according to the Haynes manual this is the sequence to do the Vauxhall Corsa D 2011, which is this one. It is rear driver side, rear passenger side, front driver side, front passenger side. So I'm going to do them in that order, and then we're going to go and pump the brake pedal, make sure we've got nice pressure there, and then, uh, then we're good. So I'm going to let this run a little bit longer. I'm going to check the pressure up at the top as well, just to make sure that we've still got fluid flowing through nicely and that there's pressure in the system. That's all for lead and um, fluid is up to the max in the uh, in the uh, reservoir so what I did was went and pressed the brake pedal a few times just to make sure that it stayed nice and solid and it does which is great news. Took it for a quick test drive just to make sure as well and all good. So there we go so that's the brakes all bled on the Vauxhall course. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Fairly straightforward one but it is an essential one and actually the colour of the brake fluid that's come out is a really dark, slightly blackened so definitely worth doing. So there we go. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do stop by, uh, subscribe and like this video if it's been of use to you and I'll see you in the next video.